Blessed be this shithole. I'm home, love, with a bounty of groceries. Honey, we talked about this silent treatment bullshit. We're not in fifth grade, hmm? Uh, apologies, dear. I must not have heard you. Sweetie, have you been crying? It's not nothing. Let me put the groceries away, and then we can talk. Uh-uh. I'll be in in just one moment. Come here, Pat. What's wrong? Oh, honey. Why are you pulling away from me? Honey. You know you're all chained up. You can only scoot so far away from me before it gets a little silly. Angel, you're crying. Please talk to me. I'm getting worried. <laughs> you think I don't really love you? Even when I run my fingers up your arms and sides, so gently, just like this. Or pull you into my lap like this, so I can cuddle you and kiss your shoulders when you tell me it's okay. I cause you pain. Don't lie to yourself. You like the pain. You like it when I hurt you in secret. Special little ways you've allowed me to since we met. You don't need to lie about that. That's not what you mean. Oh, okay, okay. Why are you crying then? You seriously think I don't truly really love you? Honey. I'm so mean. Honey. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hurting you in a way you didn't enjoy. I'm sorry, Pat. So, so sorry. I do mean it. My sweet Pat. You know I love you truly, right? Certainly, it is love behind a glass pane with the pulled cockers on the other side, but love nonetheless. We're like a Halloween decoration together. Grotesque, but true. There we are. Shh. Nice and calm. Don't strain your anklets, dearest. They're so bruised still from the last time the beast took over. Or love. It does pain me so to see you in such pain. Perhaps a nice warm bath would help, hmm? Uh, no. Oh, my poor angel. Don't start sobbing all over again. I promise you're not in any kind of trouble. I know, I know you want to go home, my sweet. But you have a demon in you, remember? It's a powerful creature of lust, and will only emerge once angered enough. Even still, I should be kinder. The beast is losing steam. <sighs> yes, why do you think I'm dressed as a priestess, love? <laughs> I mean, it is certainly kinky, I suppose. Heaven knows I'm not a normal priestess, but being one that handles demons in this manner is still a difficult dinner table topic. Of course there's a demon, my love. It will do everything it can to convince you I'm lying, and if it speaks to you, it will no doubt tell you I'm trying to do the same. 
I know that you have the strength to obey the correct being inside your body, however. Shh. I'm not crazy, and you aren't crazy either. The agents of Satan are very strong. I can prove I have power over it if it would ease your not knowing, but it can have quite a powerful impact on the mind. Just like this. With one luck, I paralyze the evil that has washed itself in the temple of the one I have claimed. Demon, I command thee to apologize for that little tantrum earlier. Good. You will submit to me, your handler and master. Do you hear me, demon? Good. Feel better now, my sweetest treasure. I know I was harsh, and I know I need to work on the girlfriend side of things. We will, alright? For right now, try and rest. That nasty little beastie is going to be pretty angry that I made it lull its little ashen tongue like a puppy dog. Don't get me wrong. I do love it when demons submit. I do. But you're the first one I've saved from possession that I really, truly loved. It makes it pretty awkward when the thing lusting after you isn't necessarily your sweet little lamb chop, you know? Hmm? Did I put something in the water I brought you before I left? That's a curious question, Angel. Oh, that's the demon. Plus, you are in my lap still, sweetheart. And I happen to know for a fact that both of you enjoy my touch in your own ways. Not for you, Gator. Gator is the demon's nickname, for what it's worth. Now, it's time for us to cleanse your body. Still up for me, puppeteering you until you can't think straight? Or shall I leave you to deal with your cranky friend in the cramp cell cause? I love you too, Angel. Don't worry, your faithful priestess won't abandon you even after the task is done. Now, relax. I'll take care of you, and I'll be sure to be sweet to you this time, okay? The demon can wait.